Obtained instructions or scenario from head athletic trainer or judge. Assembled equipment. Washed hands or used alcohol-based hand rub for hand hygiene. Hello, my name is Mr. Weatherholt. I'm the assistant athletic trainer, and I would like to wrap your ankle today. Is that okay with you? Yes. Can you tell me your name, please? Mariah. Mariah, pleasure to meet you. Greeted patient and introduced self, identified patient and explained skill. Position patient sitting on a taping table with the leg extended off the edge with the foot and dorsiflexion. Demonstrated spraying area with tape adherent without actually spraying adherent on patient. Applied pre-wrap or self-adherent wrap and thin foam pads with skin lubricant over the heel and lace areas to provide additional adherence and lessen irritation. Applied one thin smooth layer of pre-wrap to foot and ankle. Using non-elastic tape, applied two anchor strips at a slight angle around the distal lower leg, just inferior to the gastronemius belly. Placed an anchor strip around the midfoot, proximal to the fifth metatarsal head. Can I have you put your foot in what's called the dorsiflexion position? Perfect, thank you. Started the first stirrup on the medial lower leg anchor and proceeded down over the posterior medial malleolus across the plantar surface of the foot and continued up and over the posterior lateral malleolus, finishing on the lateral lower leg anchor. Began the first horseshoe strip on anchor of the medial aspect of the midfoot continued around the distal Achilles tendon, across the distal lateral malleolus, and finished on the anchor of the lateral midfoot, proximal to the fifth metatarsal head. Started the second stirrup on the medial lower leg anchor by overlapping the first by one half of the tape width, continued down over the medial malleolus, across the plantar foot, up and over the lateral malleolus, and finished on the anchor of the lateral lower leg. Began the second horseshoe on the medial rear foot and overlapped the first by one half of the tape width. Applied the third stirrup beginning on the medial lower leg anchor, overlapping the second and covered the anterior medial and lateral malleoli. Mm -hmm.
starting on the medial rear foot, applied the third horseshoe, overlapping the second. Beginning at the third horseshoe, applied closure strips in a proximal direction, overlapping each by one half up to anchor strip on lower leg. Applied two to three closure strips around the midfoot in a medial to lateral direction. In steps number 11, 12, 14, 16, and 19 above, the strips and anchors did not put pressure on the fifth metatarsal head. Anchored the first heel lock across the lateral lace area at an angle toward the medial longitudinal arch. Continued across the arch, then angled the tape upward and pulled across the lateral calcaneus around the posterior heel, finishing on the lateral lace area. Repeated the same pattern on the other side of the ankle joint, moving in the opposite direction. Applied two or three heel locks to ensure maximum stability. Use of either individual heel locks or continuous heel locks is acceptable. And how does that feel? Feels good. Do you feel restriction and stability, but it's not too tight? Yes. Can you wiggle your toes for me? Excellent. And can you feel what I'm doing? Yes. Perfect. Reported skill and observations to the head athletic trainer or judge. Judges evaluate taping at this time. Right, next we're gonna go Upon direction of the athletic trainer, properly we'll use tape, scissors, cutter to remove taping. <laughs> All tape applied with mild to moderate roll tension. Allowed tape to fit the natural contour of the skin. Skill completed on the correct side or body I part. Know if I'm stabbing you. Socks survived. <laughs> Properly disposed of used taping materials. Washed hands or used alcohol based hand it's rub for hand hygiene. Used appropriate verbal and nonverbal communication with patient and other personnel. <laughs>